Hello, hello, hello. Today we have a tier 5 tank destroyer review that I'm gonna be go gonna go over. It's the Panzer Schulfel 4C. Yes, yes. We can just call it the dead toast. It's a toaster machine. Uh, well, it's a very interesting little tank, I would say. It's, well, it's a box. It's a toaster that moves around on the battlefield. It has this, I mean, it's a, this, it's an anti-aircraft, mobile anti-aircraft tank, a vehicle, I should say. So you have absolutely the best, if not the best, gun elevation in the game. You can point this gun straight up. Like, absolutely straight up. And uh, it's actually quite mobile for it, to be honest. And you can see how the gun... Now we're doing a little bit of a test to see the gun. We're gonna back up and then we're gonna angle our gun upwards. See, here we go. And we're gonna have no problem in staying like this. And we're gonna even aim up on this Excelsior. And we have some great sniping here. As you can see, I'm showcasing how the tank is uh, looking at. Uh, but if I go over the gun, I'm using the secondary gun. 220 Alpha, not the 240 Alpha. On the simple reason of this. As you can see, I'm aiming left, left, right, all over the place. I can shoot. Because this one has a wide gun arc compared to the the top gun that is a super narrow. So that one is only really good when you do want to do the long range sniping on a specific small area. You would not be able to shoot the VK and then a Type 58 like I'm doing here. You would have to choose always. You can't. You have to choose and stick with it. You can't switch targets like I'm doing here all the time. I'm going for the Type 67 now. Uh, and this is full APCR spam, almost. Because with the AP, you have 145 pen. And with the AP serve, you have 194. It's it's adequate, I would say, the pen. It, it, it works. At least the 194 pen works flawlessly in tier 5. The, the 145 might be struggle. I mean, I guess I guess a little bit higher tier. But... That's not the main reason why I use so much more APCR than AP. It's because of the shell velocity. The shell velocity, here we're gonna see with the gun, right up in the sky. Uh, it's, it, it never gets old. It's one of the... You know, it's the only tank in the game that can do this, actually. So it's quite, quite, quite unique in that. But if I go over the gun... Um, the, the, the AP is 744 or something like that, 45 maybe, 700, it's a very slow AP shell, so long distance, which you always tend to set up with this uh, tank, you're gonna, it's gonna be quite the struggle of hitting all of these small tanks moving around the place, so that's why I'm using the APCR, which have 966, 66, 966 shell velocity. Ah, shame, didn't pen that. Because the reload is like six and a half second ish. Oh, oh, do you see? Didn't really notice me, did he? Oh, you can see how devastating this tank can actually be. Sorry, this anti aircraft gun can be. Oh, 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 oh. Can we? Can we? Oh, we can. The mobility of this tank. Uh, the, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a tank. I'm not gonna call it some anti-aircraft motorized vehicle. <laughs> but the mobility is quite good with this tank. It's it's fast, it's nimble, it's it, it gets around the place. You you're not locked into oh okay, I have to sit here and snipe, I can't move. So you have this mobility and with the second gun, with this uh, gun traverse, you can actually move around the corners very effectively. With the top gun, that's that's almost out of the question. Like you you, you don't want to move in close at all. You just want to sit and snipe and snipe and snipe. And the armor, well, that's the thing. We're in a box. 
a toaster. <laughs> Extremely thin armor, so HE loves to hit us. Everyone who has an HE shell, they can load it in and can pen us. We have no armor whatsoever at this tank. You'll be very surprised when you get when someone bouncing on you. Very surprised, very surprised. The view range is 340, so you kind of stuck with having uh, having the binos on it to get full view range. It also adds into this very passive defensive play that you play with this tank. Like it's 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 one of those you just gotta snipe, 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 and that's it. And really like hammer it down that there's nothing else than you sit and snipe with this tank. Obviously, like I said, you can move up and move in. And when you have the second gun, it's way easier to do that than to do with the top gun. So I, I strongly recommend using the second gun for this tank. Even if you don't use a lot of AP Storm in your gameplay, you still are gonna be probably way better off with this tank. Yeah, with this gun. And the top one. And the big thing though is that your dispersion takes a big hit when you compare the two guns. The top gun it's just really good when it comes to that sniping. While this gun is really wonky sometimes. You you do you do wobble your shots left, right and center. I'm gonna see if he can't spot this Matilda. Uh, we, we're not spotting him. Actually he's spotting me, so we figure out that he has binos. I've not been too much caring about the game because it's been snipe, 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 snipe. And it's not much more to say when well, you can sit the snipe. It's the easiest roll, roll of all the rolls, rolls out there as a tanker in this game. Hmm. Let's see if we can pick up the last kill here. Get a top gun maybe. I'll hit that. Someone bounced. Hit the second one. Can we hit the third one? Nope. RNG said no. And we finish up. Yeah, we do. There we go. There's the Panzer Toast tank. I did not did not learn how to say this name. And I'm not gonna try. But that's it for the game. We had a whooping of a lot of damage actually. Oof. Maybe we have some more, maybe not. But anyway, let's check out the post that statistics and then we go over the garage. See you there. Here we got the post-game statistics. We have a 3,932 damage, 1,111 spotting, and then we have six kills on that. So we did not have any blind damage or such, but we scored an ace tanker, confederate, top gun, and a high caliber. We had a whooping of 1,603 <laughs> experience in this game. Was, that's, that's pretty deep, pretty deep, pretty deep. And we had a whooping of minus 41,914 credits, which kind of comes with the territory when you do have a lot of APSR with the tank. But more on that when we get to the garage. In the garage, like always, we will go over the crew, equipment, consuming boss, and P. Oh, there is no field modification because this is a tier 5 which does not have field modification. So it will be a little bit shorter review just because of that. But anyway, uh, you can find this tank in the in st in the store. You go to the collector's vehicle, click on Germany, and then you should have it in the top list here with in, at the tier five of it. Mine is down here with the with the rest of the tanks that I've got. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the crew with the commander. It's pretty much straightforward. Six cent brothers arms, situation awareness, then recon. And after that, you pick camouflage, and then you pick repair. <laughs> and it's essentially just to get the tank up to full view range, or to get the maximum amount of view range you can get with this tank. Since I'm using the secondary gun, uh, I will pick snapshot on one of the gunners, because uh, well, obviously you pick brothers and arms first. Because with the second, with the, with, because with the snapshot, it helps your aim during the gun traverse. So inside your gun arc view of the tank, 
this snapshot will actually function for you in the, in a in a tank destroyer. Not when you turn the tank, but inside when you're standing still and moving the the aim left to right or up and down or whatever. And only one of the gunners needed. Yes, this tank has two gunners, so only one of the gunners needs to have snapshot because it's uh, otherwise it takes up takes the gunner with the highest percentage in that skill. So if both had a snapshot and this one had a 70%, then he has 87%, it would only count for the 87%. But for second gunner, I pick camouflage, because it's most important thing about the tank is to be able to hide in the background and shoot. Because when you get spotted, you get obliterated by HE. Obliterated. It does not take much for this tank to, to, <laughs> to get destroyed. For the driver, I actually picked concealment. I was thinking of uh, bringing out smooth ride. It can actually be beneficial to a smooth ride, especially with a tank destroyer with a um, with a good gun arc like I'm using here. But I decided just to, to go against my own judgment there. I just pick concealment because I know most of the time I would sit and snipe. But why I would pick smooth ride is. Just because this this helping being aggressive and and and, uh, and moving around, uh, smooth ride can be really good for certain tank destroyer because they get a lot of minus when it comes to moving backward and forward. It gets a lot of bloom on the gun, so the aim just blooms out. But with the smooth ride, it will help that a little bit. So when you move backwards and forward, so when you go like one R forward or or a little bit. You know, faster forward, you will have that that have that slightly better aim doing that. And with the tank destroyers, that can happen quite frequently, more than 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 you would think actually. But on with the cruise guild, brothers in arms, concealment, I guess smooth ride, and then repair, and probably clunk in on off road driving. Why not? Give it a little bit more speeding around the corner. With the loader. Both loaders, I will pick um, Burns and Arms, Camouflage. I would not pick Intuition. I don't see much benefit in the, in, with the Intuition of this tank. You have five and a half seconds reload, up to six seconds. It's, it's fast enough. You don't tend to use the HE or the AP. The, the only time you would really have intuition kick in is when you want to switch from AP to APCR or or vice versa when you have a target appearing in front of you but most of the time you have time to already see like oh I need APCR or oh I need AP when you get to a certain area to snipe from and then I would probably pick safe stowage as a third skill or a second skill but I feel like the camouflage is going to be actually no 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 i feel the camouflage is just way more important than than safe storage on this tank and then i clock in repair and i guess firefighting as a four fifth one uh, but anyway that's the crew i have of course i have uh, von krieger because who who does not like a mad scientist in a toaster tank which is absolutely unique in its regard that it has a gun elevation of, does it say? Yeah, 85. I don't know any other tank that's 85 gun elevation. But for the equipment, I will pick IRM, rammer, and binoculars. On the simple reason that IRM helps you so much for the for the gun dispersion. Well, the dispersion when the vehicle is moving and the gun is traversing around which is just making this tank night and day. It almost goes from day to night or night to day. I don't know which way you would like to put it. And then obviously rammer for the faster reload, binoculars for the full view range. If I would change something, I guess you could remove the IRM or the turbo, I guess, if you want to be a little bit quicker around there. But I think this IRM is just way better. The tank is already moderately fast. So mm, I don't see much else use of, of that. And for consumables, I load a lot of APC or more just because of the shell velocity difference. The 966 to the AP's 773. So I was wrong during the 
the gameplay recording. So it was 773, which is... Which is okay in close combat. It's that. Sniping? No. No. You you load out the episode and pew, 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 pew. The HE? 773 as well, but it's it's HE, so it's always going to be a little bit slower. Consumable wise, I always go with food. You don't need anything special. First aid, and then um, r consumable with the repair. Um, my final thoughts of the tank? It's... um. It's an interesting tank. I, I I really thought I would dislike it more, but I think it comes down to that I use the second gun, then I use this top gun. Because this top gun, it doesn't say here, it just gives you a heck of a lot more pen and a heck of a lot of bit better dispersion compared to um, this, uh, this second gun. But it does not tell you in game that you can barely move the gun left and right. Like it's almost like a Swedish tank destroyer where you cannot move the gun. And then it only comes effect to long range sniping. But since I had this gun, I could move the turret, uh, move the, well, I could say the turret, move it more left and right. And that just allows me to move around on the battlefield to kind of quickest support them or quickest strike an enemy instead of always 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 relying on sniping and just that made this tank hell a lot more fun to play plus who doesn't like to point your gun straight up in the sky and just shoot a little bit i say why not so this toaster tank this panzer something i can't remember its name the Panzer something 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 toast attack. I hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned because there will be will be more. Take care. I'm out of here.